Chapter one, why I love rental properties. Maya Angelou once said, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. My eyes were glued to the nine simple words I held between my shaking fingers in that dark, all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet restaurant on a cold Minnesota afternoon. Surely, it was a coincidence that had to be, right? Or perhaps someone was playing an extremely elaborate prank on us. No, that, that would be impossible. This really just happened. It was a hot summer afternoon, several days after my high school graduation. My best friend Matt and I had decided to venture down to our favorite restaurant, a hole-in-the-wall Chinese buffet restaurant on the outskirts of Minneapolis, to grab an early dinner. We talked about life, girls, our college plans, our crazy friends, the latest small-town gossip, and, and all the other pressing issues that two 18-year-old guys in the Midwest typically discuss over sweet and sour chicken, fried rice, wontons, jello, and unlimited soda refills. As our conversation began to wind down, the tall, middle-aged waitress came to collect the dirty plates and drop off our check. Neither of us reached for the bill, though. Instead, we reached for the two fortune cookies that lay atop the overturned invoice on the table. Brandon, Matt asked, as we grow up, do you want to live an ordinary life or an extraordinary one? As I held my fortune cookie, still in its wrapper, I thought about the question for a moment. I was an ordinary kid in an ordinary town with ordinary grades, an ordinary job, and an ordinary outlook on life. Things seemed pretty good to me, so as I peeled the clear plastic wrapper off my fortune cookie, I looked Matt in the eye and replied, I'll take an ordinary life. I'm perfectly happy with that. In reality, I didn't believe I could ever achieve something more than ordinary, so why kid myself? I could handle ordinary. I deserved ordinary. I was destined for ordinary. I cracked my fortune cookie in half and carefully retrieved the white strip of paper nestled inside. Printed in red ink were nine words I'll never forget. There is no such thing as an ordinary life. Why do I love rental properties so much? It's no secret that I love rental properties. Sure, flipping and wholesaling properties might be fun. Notes and tax liens might have fewer tenants. The stock market might be more popular. But rental properties are my true business love. Let me explain why. The ability to purchase with leverage. Rental properties are great because you can borrow the bank's or someone else's money to increase the potential return. This is known as leverage. In other words, you don't need to have 100% of the property's purchase price on hand to be able to buy it. I'll explain this in more depth later in the chapter, but for now, I'll say this. Rental properties allow me to buy large properties for far less cash than I might need to purchase stocks or other investments. The ability to hustle for greater returns. Not only can I leverage my cash, but I can also leverage my time and abilities to make magic happen in this game, something difficult to do with other investments. In other words, I can hustle. If I wanted to do the work needed to rehab a property, I can do that. If I want to leverage my networking skills to raise money, I can do that instead. If I want to leverage my knowledge and time to find better deals that provide an even greater return, I can do that. Rental property investing gives me the ability to hustle for my future. Ability to manage my investment directly. I'll fully admit I'm a bit of a control freak, and that drives me towards rental properties in a powerful way. With a rental property, I'm directly responsible for the outcome of my investment. It is up to me to analyze a property before I buy it. It is up to me to ensure the property is in good condition to rent. It's up to me to ensure the property is running at peak performance. I don't have to depend on some board of directors in New York City for my life direction. I can manage my investment directly and personally. People always need a place to live. The real estate market will go up and down, but the beauty of rental properties is that the demand will never end. People always need a place to live. So unlike investing in the latest tech trend or in your brother's startup, real estate is an investment that will last. Furthermore, because increasing student loans are making qualifying for a mortgage more difficult, and our culture increasingly values mobility, the demand for rental properties will only grow over time.